Justin. Well, Hawaii is a very unique place, and we're also very lucky to live here. That's why every month we're visiting a different neighborhood to find out what makes each so unique. And in this morning's Welcome Home segment, we visit Waianae Shopping Center. That's where McKenna rejoins us live. Good morning to you, McKenna. Christine, I'm actually at the mall. You know, every month we look forward to these visits with locations where we get to know the neighborhoods a little bit more. And today, and actually right now, we're going to learn about sort of how the history and the development of all that came about. Right now, I'm joined, been joined by Jocelyn Okuda. Good morning. Good morning, McKenna. Hi. Good morning. And you're going to break down sort of how the history of the real estate here happens. So tell me, because I really don't know a lot of it. All right, well, with the founding of the Wainai Sugar Company in 1878, that's when the area started to transition into a community. In fact, our record shows that in 1920, there was only 54 homes here. That's crazy. Amazing, right? <laughs> and the real uh, activity happened in the 1930s in Maili, followed by Makaha. Okay. But the real spike happened in the 1960s and 1970s. And although the um, building construction has come down, it still remains pretty sta stable. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you just already mentioned Ma'ili Makal, like some of the neighborhoods, because I believe there are five that are considered here on the coast. Could you break those down Correct. for me? Okay. Starting with Nana Kuli, which is primarily Hawaiian homelands, uh -huh. and around the coastline to Ma'ili, where you see your highest sales activity. In fact, in this year alone, it was over 200 sales. And then you come around to Lualole, where we have our highest medium price range at 486000 okay. rounding off at Waianae and Makaha, which have still attractive price points for new home buyers. Mm -hmm. Although it is still competitive, there are longer dates on market. They are. Okay, all right. Now, what, say if I want to, uh, viewers waking up with us, want to buy a home out here, what can a buyer expect, especially in this area, if they're looking? Well, in this area, it's mostly made up of beachfront condos and single-family homes. Not bad. Not bad <laughs> at all, especially if you want to live on the beach in Hawaii. Right. Um, also, there are the price points are just so attractive here. Mm -hmm. And um, that's basically it. You get, you're right across from the beach, and it's a great price point. I love that. Is there anything else you want to add to tell our viewers about um, just why this area is so great to live in? Well, it's a... Culturally strong community is a tight knit community, and you know basically it's still very competitive. So if you're looking to buy or sell in Waianae, you would still want to offer above asking because the bid ups are 28% for single family homes and 11% okay. uh, for condos. Okay, and you you said this already still competitive, but a nice change if you come out here to the west side. You're right, compared to um, the the west coast is. Um, 455,000 medium sales price single family compared to 780,000. Wow. So as, as you see, it's still a great buy. It is a great buy and beautiful as well. We're going to see more of that this morning as the sun comes up. Thank you, Jocelyn, for joining us. You're welcome. Yes. Okay, so we are going to be here. I am excited. Stay tuned right here on Wake Up Today and Take Two. For now, I'm going to send it back to Ron and Christina in the studio. Keep McKenna. And I got to say, if you haven't taken a drive down the Waianae oh. Coast, Waianae, Makaha, Truly proves why the west side is the best oh, side. I beautiful. think. Beautiful. Yep. Most beautiful beaches bar none mm -hmm. on Oahu.